Durban is the focal point of Indo-International fusion and fashion fans flock to the launch of Ayana Couture. We met up with co-founder of the new label, Avina Jaychan. Ayana means beautiful woman in, in many different languages. My journey began with a friend introducing Miriam Jana to us. So all of our manufacturing is done in India. Each model would only spend a minute or two on the ramp, in contrast to the hours of preparation that went into ensuring a flawless presentation. Achieving the perfect pleats of a sari took nimble fingers and an expert eye, while makeup and hairstyles were conceptualized to complement each ensemble. So what inspired our looks for Ayana Fashion Show this season was East meets West. A lot of fusion in it, so we decided to collaborate a lot of Eastern and Western looks together. We have six collections. The first collection is a sari collection, where we have various colours and play of materials, which is lace, shimmer fabrics, a lot of embroidery. Most of the work is hand embroidered. The second one is lengas. Lengas are two-piece outfits that you tie around your waist. So that's also very intricately done with Swarovskis and different types of embroidery. We've done a fusion with gowns. So we have lots of pastel colors, lots of westernized looking stuff, but with the beadwork and embroidery that you would find in an Indian garment. We have a bridal collection, and then we have a showstopper. Showstopper is really huge. It's really heavy, but it's beautifully designed. It's got a lot of mirrors on it. It's stunning. The colors and selections that I've chosen are earthy tones. A lot of them are earthy tones because a neutral color always looks good. Some of them have a pop of color with heavy fabric, heavy intricate workings with Zarkan embroidery, Zadosi. Lots of net is used, but underneath as a lining, not, not on the top. We've used shimmer fabrics. We have beadwork, we have Swarovski crystals that are embedded on it, but mostly 99.9% are .9 handwork. Based in Delhi, seamstress Mariam Jana is the overseas half of this Indo-South African partnership. As an expert seamstress, she has the combined responsibility of executing Avina's designs and ensuring that the quality of the finished product matches the expectations of discerning Durban clients. The results displayed the hallmarks of contemporary ethnic Eastern couture, with each look enhanced by items selected from the brand's in-house costume jewellery ranges. When you look at a garment, you, you visualize exactly what jewelry will look good in it. It wasn't a random selection. We went with colors that go basically with anything. And then we, we had specially designed pieces that go with the outfit. Avina is a firm believer in the three C's of fashion. Color, craftsmanship and contemporization. Giving a classic style a fresh twist is perhaps the most difficult to achieve. But Avina knows that she must be on trend in order to capture the attention of her target market. Today's women, they like to look extremely good. They like to be different. They want to be set apart from everybody else. So I think this is the kind of look that I want to keep. So this is the image that my brand will have. And we're hoping people like what they see. Behind it all, and the face of Ayana Leila Nikolaitis. Ever since I came about a year ago, I find that the Indian fashion is very popular here, and because of the influence of the Bollywood, also the fashion industry has certainly had a, made a mark in South Africa. I think the outfits were really out of the box, nothing that you usually see, something very, very different. Yeah, I was transfixed uh, with all the outfits, the colors, uh, the vibrancy. It's so modern with a twist of traditional. Very different, very contemporary. I think it's very much on par on what's happening in Bombay and in India. You know, all the razzle and dazzle. Oh my gosh, it's just spectacular. I just love it. 